Yeah, I mean, I think the, the three things to take away from this quarter from Home Depot were, you know, one, this is the fourth quarter in a row that they've had sales that missed expectations, but the EPS still came in line. So even though sales growth has been a little bit disappointing, they're still able to deliver that bottom line growth. Second is, as you mentioned, this is the second time in a row that they've cut their comp guidance. You know, they talked about same store sales growth slowing. Um, at the beginning of the year, they said 5%. Now, last quarter, they had said 4%. Now they've taken it down to 3.5%. Now, last quarter, it was lumber deflation, which, you know, seemed like a reasonable thing to point to. This quarter, they're talking about some of those initiatives that they had started at the beginning of the year that are now slower to deliver some sales growth. And they think that that's still going to come. They said that that will be happening next year, that they expect to get more of that growth. So it's, it's really just a delay in timing on that sales growth, not a not necessarily a slowdown. Yeah, that's but, what I want to talk yeah. about. They are reinvesting in the company right now. Right. They're upgrading their stores, their their digital platform, their uh, supply chain. So they're reinvesting at the moment. Should we all have to be patient? I mean, even the CEO, though, admitted the, on the conference call that it's taking longer to see results than they expected here. But uh, right. maybe we just have to be patient with them. Yeah, I mean, one of the initiatives that they cited, they mentioned that they are really redoing their IT platform. And that's something that can take a long time, especially for a large scale retailer like this. So they really want to get it right, make sure that the platform is correct before they you know, start putting in additional features. And so I think that's a reasonable thing to point to. But then the, the longer term overarching theme here is that growth in renovation spending is starting to slow. It's still positive, but it is slowing. I mean, we talked about you know, in retail having negative or, you know, or very little growth. I mean, home improvement is still growing and it's still a pretty strong sector of retail, but it is starting to slow a little bit. So we're seeing that in our data. We're looking at all of the leading indicators of housing metrics, you know, um, financial health metrics, uh, real-time spending, and generally what it's pointing to is positive growth but softening. So if it's growing but softening, and right. you've got this duopoly of Home Depot and Lowe's, and the last two quarters, Lowe's actually out-comped Home Depot for the first time in a really long time. I think, right. the, you know, they only did it one other time in the last, I don't know, like four or five years. Yep. So if you're looking at these two and you have less money to spend as a homeowner renovating, where are you going, Lowe's or Home Depot? Well, I mean, I think most consumers will choose the place that's closest to them or that gives them the best price or has the product that they need in stock, right? So if you think about what a professional um, contractor is going to do in terms of their buying patterns, they're usually pretty loyal to a retailer until there's a reason to change that pattern. Now, either it's because they find that they're able to get product availability at one retailer versus the other, or it's because the pricing starts to get more competitive. And so I think some of what Lowe's is doing to really try to gain some of that uh, some of that market share and not necessarily from Home Depot but more so from independent smaller retailers is that they're trying to make a much more compelling you know online platform a more compelling pro platform and having in stocks and so they're investing a lot in inventory for they that. report tomorrow morning That's Do we right. hear essentially the same story from them necessarily do you think I think when we hear from Home Depot or sorry when we hear from Lowe's tomorrow we're likely to hear I mean I wouldn't expect them to cut the guidance because the reason Home Depot cut was from internal initiatives so right. if Lowe's cuts their outlook, then maybe we can say, you know, things are actually softening more than we thought broadly for, for home improvement. So I think Lowe's will likely maintain their 3% same store sales growth guidance. I think that their, uh, their growth is going to actually look pretty robust. I, I think investors will be very focused on whether they, uh, whether they beat Home Depot in terms of their U.S. same store sales growth again. Uh, but I think what's going to come under more scrutiny is the uh, operating margin, because last year the company was changing over a lot. They changed over their entire management team. Right. They were uh, destocking on inventory that was unproductive. They were uh, getting rid of stores that were that were unproductive as well. So a lot of change has happened in the last year, and we should start to see some of the benefits of that change happening now.